Yeah, temperatures sliding into the upper 30s right now, which is a typical low this time of the year, but uh, they will keep on falling down. And how about this? Uh, it's been 172 days since we've had a high temperature as cool as today. That was back on May 6th, and it looks like temperatures by tomorrow morning are going to be well into the lower 30s in uh, quite a few spots. Already into the middle 30s here. Take a look at these temperatures uh, for your location. Uh, 36 in Austin Town, 37 in Salem tonight, 36 down in Minerva, uh, 38 over in Transfer in uh, western uh, parts of Mercer County. So, yes, it's a cool night, and I am concerned about a little patchy fog developing uh, with these cooler temperatures right into early morning. As far as radar activity goes, very quiet right now. In fact, the clouds starting to break up for a while this evening. Uh, but what I'm watching is up over Lake Erie. Now the winds are just about to shift. They've kept these showers uh, going basically from west to east and southwest to northeast, uh, starting to see a few of these bands making their way on shore tonight. And I'm expecting this wind shift to uh, take place for a big part of the night into early tomorrow morning. That's why I've left a small chance of showers in the forecast tonight into tomorrow morning before for better weather moves our way. Now it is cold enough tonight that some of these showers could develop into maybe a snowflake or two and the best chance of that would be in the snow belt. But this better weather, it moves our way uh, through the day tomorrow and especially on into Friday. So future trackers showing you how that chance of showers mainly through the northern snow belt into early tomorrow morning, but a few of these may try to drift southward. Uh, don't be surprised if you see a stray snowflake tomorrow morning. Uh, temperatures in the lower 30s, a cold start to the day, and you'll want to watch for some of that patchy fog with those temperatures near freezing uh, early tomorrow morning. Now, fortunately, most of the road surfaces are staying above freezing, but you can't completely dismiss some of those really cold spots uh, in the morning. So watch that fog uh, first thing Thursday morning. Uh, by temperatures into the afternoon, though, uh, they will build on into the 50s, a little bit of sun filtered by clouds uh, through the day. The chance of rain tomorrow is really, really small. And then into tomorrow night, I could see a little patchy fog should be the only problem. By the time we go into Friday, I'm looking for quite a bit of sunshine to return, and that'll help push those temperatures right into the lower 60s here. So nice warm up on into your Friday afternoon and evening enjoy it because by the time we go into Saturday, here comes the rain and that rain's going to be around uh, through Saturday morning into midday and what will follow that rainfall is colder temperatures and they look like they're going to stick around for several days into uh, early next week. 33 tonight, mostly cloudy, small chance for an isolated sprinkle or a shower or a, a very small chance of a snowflake into tomorrow morning. Uh, 52 tomorrow, partly sunny skies. Still that small chance of an isolated sprinkle, especially early. And then as we look ahead here over the next uh, seven days, well, temperatures warm up on Friday. A little breezy with those warm temperatures, but the rain moves in late Friday night into Saturday morning, and at least the first half of Saturday looking pretty wet. As we go into the afternoon and evening, uh, those showers will become more isolated, and then the cold air starts pouring in. And notice overnight, Saturday into Sunday, then Sunday night into Monday, and even Monday night into Halloween, uh, temperatures dropping into the 30s. Yes, some wet snow could be mixing in through the nights and temperatures. Well, they stay cold, a little like fall there. Highs in the 40s right through the middle of next week.